वेलकम टू द मोमेंट्स ऑफ आर्ट्स सीजन टू एन इंटरनेशनल ऑनलाइन एग्जीबिशन एंड कंपटीशन बाय सागर सीन हेवी गो हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू मोमेंट्स ऑफ आर्ट सीजन टू बाय सागर आर्ट स्ट्रीम यू हैव नाउ एंटर्ड द मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस ऑनलाइन आर्ट एग्जीबिशन एंड कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ इंडिया we thank our wellness partner people organics a premium brand providing aromatherapy based wellness solutions visit their website peopleorganics.com and shop for a product range curated using premium essential oils today we will view artists and their brilliant work curated by our jury from india and other countries of the world please note that this exhibition video will be only visible from 1st of may to 31st of may 2023 as per the exhibition dates our first artist is mr jaspreet mohan singh from ludhiana india apart from being an artist he is a retired principal with a teaching experience of 27 years in commercial art and 10 years as an administrator prefer to work in series here is his selected painting for the exhibition called cult of durga a form of modern art our second artist is arpita goel from meerut india since childhood she was really drawn towards the art and became passionate on how the colors represent the different aspects of life and somehow aspires one to think beyond she began her professional journey in 2022 after completing her masters Here are her three paintings selected for the exhibition. Peace shows vibrancy of a lotus flower. She used triptych technique in the painting. Peace 2. This abstract painting represents the calmness and the pleasing colors of nature. Storm. This abstract painting represents the emotional upheaval which a person goes through and how connecting with the nature can stabilize it our third artist is himanshi arya from delhi india she started painting since teenage days she grew up in haryana and her culture inspired her a lot she decided to choose art as a career because she loves to paint anything and everything from abstracts to realism she recently graduated in 2022 from the prestigious college of art delhi here are her two paintings selected for the exhibition three it shows that a woman has all power in herself she's more like a godmother of nature existence It portrays that complexities of life and world through the random sharp obstacles from others but we have to take care of our people first. Our fourth artist is Devangana Tiwari Malhotra from Brisbane, Australia. She is an artist with fascination for anything earthen, ethnic, folk and traditional. She draws her inspiration from the nature minimalism and indian scriptures here is her painting named companionship this painting has been made in madhubani style a monochrome with intricate detailing companionship depicts the love which makes us accept all the blacks and the whites all the strengths and weaknesses of our companion and in turn accept our own selves for all the blacks and the whites that we have in us Our fifth artist is Dr. Anil Kumar Banga from Alwar, India. He is an orthopedic surgeon, self-taught artist. He has been into art since 40 years. He is a writer, stage performer and has won hundreds of prizes. Here are his paintings. Acrylics on canvas. The theme is partition of India and Pakistan. A3 size acrylic on canvas theme divorce. 
Our sixth artist is Sudha Rajendran from Tamil Nadu, India. She is a mentor and coach for young artists, helping them achieve their fullest potential. Born in 1989 and grown up in the lap of wild nature in Andaman, currently residing in Chennai. Her colorful paintings pay homage to her motherland. Here is her painting, A Trusty Companion. The painting portrays a woman with a vibrant parrot perched on her arm. The woman's posture is relaxed as she gazes affectionately. Our seventh artist is Ram Krishna Agarwal from Noida, India. By profession, he is in fashion industry, but by passion, he is a self-taught artist. Here is his painting, Landscape. Our eighth artist is Bhavya AC from Bangalore, Karnataka. She's an advocate by profession and an artist. She does paintings, drawings and her artworks as her hobby. Here are her two paintings. Mangrove Forest, made with acrylic colors on canvas board. Lotus, national flower made with acrylic colors on canvas board. Our ninth artist is Dr. Shipra Bhatia from Gurugram, India. After completing her doctorate degree in management MBA in finance and IB, UGC, NET, BA in special education, she accumulated an enriching experience of 15 years in education industry, teaching accountancy and business. During a period of rediscovering herself, her love for her art kindled, propelling her to explore different art forms and their significance. Here are two of her paintings. Oneness of man and his environment. The intricately done mandala art represents the relationship between fish and its habitat that is water. Swim in the blues. The dominant green toned mandala art represents the mutual coexistence of life and environment. Our tenth artist is Arun Kumar Pathak from Bukaro, India. Here is his painting Magnificent River in oil color. Our 11th artist is Maita Velen from Mauritius. She is a self-taught artist and art is her second skin. By painting, creating and crafting, she feels a sense of completeness and peace of mind. She enjoys experimenting different materials and textures to create new piece of work. Here is a painting named Femme Liber. The artwork representing a woman breaking a chain, freeing herself from all pain, suffering, prejudices and exploitation. She can live freely on her own without fear. Our twelfth artist is Jay Narayan Sharma from India. He is a self-taught artist and has done three exhibitions till date. A rhythmic artist who by his art brings past and future events to paintings. Here is his painting named Redemption. It is a painting depicting how redemption is achieved amidst uncertainties of life where every single breath is challenged. Process is painful, achievements are herculean and results precious. Our 13th artist is Manisha Gulati Rajagore from Navi Mumbai, India. She is a self-taught artist. She paints with all kinds of mediums. The subjects that touches her the most are nature, people and animals. Here is her painting named The Lady and Her Cat. The lady wearing a colorful tribal dress is seen engaged with her cat showcasing a beautiful bond that they share. She feels the love never ends at any age and this painting is one such example. Our 14th artist is Suruchi Kumari from Bangalore, India. The Mithila painting artist Govardhan Parvat. It is a handmade Madhubani.
Our 15th artist is Sarojini Datta from Noida, India. A self-taught artist with art education till senior Cambridge. Graduation in psychology honors from LSR, New Delhi. Also a degree in BA, she paints with different mediums, watercolors, oils, acrylic, pastels, pen and ink. As she loves the different expressions each of them brings. Here are her selected paintings. Caged within, reflecting the environment and our attachment of the mind that imprison us and stop us from the peace and enlightenment within. Women Artisans of Orissa Inspired by the hardworking and talented women of India. Calm within the chaos. In spite of chaos in the environment, one can be calm like the moon and keep shining forth. Our 16th artist is Gauri Mehta from Mumbai, India. She is a homemaker and from past two years, she is also into art. She was surprised by the fact that she has a hidden talent and so thought to pursue it as a passion. Here is her painting named Gaunt Art. Our 17th artist is Apurva Hans from Faridabad, India. She is a full-time professional artist. After graduating from Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, Singapore, she began painting full-time and her paintings have found homes all around the world. Here are her two paintings. Window This is the famous Jaisalmer Market which is apparently called the Golden City. It is considered to be one of the oldest street markets in India. Here, I tried to capture the beauty of the architecture through a window, she says. Floating along, she is not a water person but she was so fascinated by the shadow of the boat that she immediately took a photograph. Bringing the effect of water to life on canvas was the most difficult yet most satisfying of all. Our 18th artist is Samira Yusuf from Ranchi, India. Samira is a self-taught artist and her mode of expression in her constantly evolving work swings from surrealism to sculptural mixed media works, creative assemblies and repetitive illustrated patterns, modern and contemporary art. Here are two of her paintings. Once upon a time, the empty mystic house stood alone on a dark stormy night. Its dilapidated walls and broken windows casting eerie shadows on the overgrown lawn. There are some mysteries associated with this house. Light Ear An immersive experience that transports light and helps one to place beyond their everyday experience, where they can contemplate the vastness of the universe and their place within it. Our 19th artist is Varsha Singh from Navi Mumbai, India. She is a beginner artist and does oil paintings. Here is her painting named Peace of Mind. In Buddhist teachings, equanimity or peace of mind is achieved by detaching oneself from the cycle of craving that produces dukkha. Only nature can give you peace of mind. Our 20th artist is Himesh Chauhan from Gurugram, India. He is a self-taught beginner artist and he began his journey with chalk micro sculpture crafting. He has participated in many offline and online art exhibitions and feel that art is the best form of meditation for artists and art lovers. Here is his painting selected for the exhibition named Chetak. He was the loyal mount of King Maharana Pratap and played a pivotal role in helping him to fight against the Mughal forces. 
Chetak is said to have been very brave and often carried his master across difficult terrain while under heavy fire from the enemy. He was eventually killed in battle, but his legacy lives on as a symbol of bravery and loyalty. Our 21st artist is Khadija Tul Kubra from Hyderabad, Pakistan. She is a master student with a passion of art. She is also a freelance comic artist. Here are her paintings selected for the exhibition. Untold There is a whole lot of buried broken stories nobody has ever heard, seen or told, but only she knows and she feels. Flutter liberation. She has to free herself from her own neoliberal thoughts, societal norms and fear of her wings being broken like a butterfly and take a high flight while she can. Our 22nd artist is Ayushman Das from Guwahati, India. He is a student of Kendra Vidyalaya NFR Maligaon. Art is his hobby and it gives him immense pleasure. Here is a selected painting named Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore together. This painting is inspired from the picture taken on the great event of the meet up of Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore. Our 23rd artist is Bhavika Rajesh Kumar Goel from Surat, India. She likes to draw and paint to make a difference and is also a teacher for arts. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition named Dolido. Our 24th artist is Kitty Dupar from Noida, India. She is a self-taught artist inspired by nature. She loves to play with colors. Here are two of her works selected for the exhibition. River of Crystal. Raisin and energized crystals are used in rivers of crystal. Dancing leaves. Dancing leaves are made with air dry clay. All leaves are handmade. Our 25th artist is Mona Lisa Baidya from Bangalore, India. She is a self-made artist inclined towards fine art. Her paintings are intensely rooted in the soil of Indian art and heavily influenced by the wide variety of Indian mythology, traditions and its culture. Her work is a reflection of her inner peace, a joy celebration of life and passion for art. Here are two of her paintings selected for the exhibition. Floral vases. Vases are different kind and every region porter creator has his own technique which he or she indulge in creation of every single piece. Here she has mentioned about the floral vases which is incorporated in the thoughts and tried hard to put it out on the piece of paper. Sumukha Sangeet. Inspired by the mandala form of art where the music meets the divinity. In this piece of art, the mesmerizing Sumakha Shakti joins the melody of ragas. Our 26th artist is Driti Parna Shorkar from Kolkata. She is a postgraduate student from Presidency University of Kolkata. Her interest in paintings has been from a very early age. She was awestruck by the convulating beauty that nature hides. In order to articulate them, she grew interest in environment and social science. And her paintings are depictions of those. Here is a painting selected for the exhibition, Unraveling Essence. Unraveling Essence is a very intense painting she has done till date. It was painting during one of the crucial Bengali festivals that is Durga Puja. Representing Durga in a contemporary setup, the woman in the painting represents a working mother who manages between the home and the world. Our 
Our 27th artist is Shivani Agarwal from New Delhi, India. She is a freelancer artist and here is a painting selected for the exhibition called Landscape – Watercolor on Paper. Our 28th artist is Tasnova Hussain from Dhaka, Bangladesh. She was 4 years old when her mother would bring huge coloring books for her and her cousin so they can color every evening. Colors have healed her every time and she realized happiness is temporary until it comes from achievements and internal growth. Here are three of her paintings selected for the exhibition. Love of Humanity Through her artwork, she is trying to depict the social and economic conditions of third world countries like Bangladesh. The Dark Days This painting represents her and her grandma in the darkest times of her life. Secret Garden This painting is inspired by a beautiful lake that was hidden in a forest in Bangladesh. Our 29th artist is Ravena Pereira from Mumbai, India. It is excerpts from those many varied conversations from work and her personal space that translate into concepts of her paintings, mundane perspectives to abstract imaginations. The inspiration of her artwork also comes from many brilliant artists out there who use the simplest of everyday objects and turn into fine piece of art. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition, Cosmic Storm. This is a fluid art creation with delicate blowout technique and slight textured surface, acrylic on canvas. It's a metaphoric interpretation of our life that usually revolves around the center of a goal or goals. Our 30th artist is Revati Sundaresan from Coimbatore, India. She has been passionate about being an artist since her childhood. Her drawing speaks about her interest in sketching the wildlife, animals and human emotions. Pencil sketching and charcoal powder painting has always been her strength and now exposure to digital drawing has enriched her skills more. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition, The Calm Demeanor. It's a digital art of a gentle Clydesdale horse that depicts the beauty of its shiny mane and skin. Our 31st artist is Rini Gorla from Hyderabad, India. She is a self-taught artist and a UX researcher by profession. She is passionate about all forms of visual and performing arts. Fascinated by Indian culture and folk arts of different Indian states, she mostly spends time understanding the nuances of folk art and creating fusion arts that reflects today's world around us with a touch of folk art and its elements. Here is a painting selected for the exhibition named Soulmates. This painting shows how human beings are trapped in a chip. This painting shows a couple in a bedroom engrossed on their mobile phones, they are mentally apart, even being physically close. The painting border is a computer chip which shows they are trapped in a chip. This painting is a conceptual art with a fusion of Indian traditional art form and modern day scenarios. Our 32nd artist is Chaya Verma from Bhuvneshwar, India. She is an ex-science teacher and has participated in a number of collaborations on Instagram and exhibitions. Here are two of her paintings selected for the exhibition. Radha Krishna Eternal Love Love between Radha and Krishna is the purest bond of the two persons. Radha symbolizes the human soul and Krishna the God. The painting connects human soul with God. Dancing Peacock Peacock symbolizes celestial love, knowledge, romance, prosperity and immortality in Madhubani painting. It is a very popular motif in the art form. Our 33rd artist is Pavan Bhandari from Mumbai, India. He has participated in many art exhibitions across the world. Here are two of his selected paintings. Save Me As we perceive changes spanning 
all over the globe, identity remains significant analytic tool to comprehend society and human behavior. Self reflects so many emotions hidden deep within emotion of love, emotion of pain, tolerance, affection, and betray. This piece is an attempt in this direction to understand individual self expression hidden deep within. Hidden identity. This painting itself shows the meaning. His art portrays that being part of the society every day should say no to abortion to save girl the most precious gift of God. Our 34th artist is Simi Kapoor from Noida. Born in a Punjabi environment, she loves different aspects of life and handicraft. Here is a work selected for the exhibition. Soulmate. Our 35th artist is Collins Osmek from New Delhi, India. He is a self-taught contemporary visual artist born and raised in Nigeria. He is married to an Indian and now India is his home for the last 7 years. He has been in the art space for over 20 years. His experience spans over decades his paintings of abstract geometrics expressionism and impressionism cut across borders. Here is his painting selected for the exhibition, Reverberation. This painting is all about the echoes of our action and their impact on the world around us. In this piece, I have used a mix of vibrant colors and abstract shapes to convey the powerful message of cause and effect, he says. Our 36th artist is Swati Paul from Thane, India. She has successfully completed many offline and online art exhibitions and competitions. Here are two of her selected paintings. Damodaran Swarupam It is a small try to showcase the serene beauty of Lord Tirupati Balaji. It's acrylic painting and texture painting on MDF board. Our 37th artist is Shilpashri Prashant from Bangalore, India. She's a self-taught artist. Here are three of her paintings. Our 38th artist is Panchali Majumdar from Kolkata, India. She is an IT professional from Kolkata, dedicated mother, passionate about creativity, art and culture in different forms, completely into abstract patterns and mandala. Here are three of her paintings selected for the exhibition. Royal Grace Paradox of Life Sacred Red Inspired by abstract patterns and mandala, Different movements, moods and shades of life have been depicted through her artwork. These are primarily reflections of the artist's own perception about the surroundings. Our 39th artist is Akansha Bansiwal from Meerut, India. Born and raised in India, she is a gifted and zeal-driven artist. Her artworks are a treat to experience. She grew up seeing her mother as an artist, teaching various art types to young budding artists. Through observing, learning and exploring various forms of expressive art, she has found innumerable shades of depth in life. Here are two of her paintings selected for the exhibition. The Blue Jewel Welcome to the universe of the Blue Jewel, a mandala design that has unique ornamental touches. The shades of blue represent the blues of the ocean and the sky. Helping Hand this mandala art represents the gender stereotypes that exist in the world today. It highlights the sadness, grief and struggles of people trying to break these biases and stereotypes. Our 40th artist is Shashwati Prajapati from Delhi, India. Art is her passion. She uses different art folk art like mandala, gaon, worldly, etc and ancient symbols to make paintings on current issues like women rights, climate change, child rights, etc. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition, Treasures of Aquatic Life. It's an advanced mandala art. In this artwork, she has used intricate patterns to show the beautiful deep sea aquatic life which is untouched by the humans. 
Our 41st artist is Bansa Jeevat from Karachi, Pakistan. She is a textile designing student in AIFT University, Karachi and follows her art as a passion. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition. Names Doodling It's a name doodling art in which there are hidden 20 names of her family members with doodling design. She has used pencil colors, markers, watercolor and drawn some cartoons, mainly designs and other designs around the names to make it difficult for people to find their names and to make it more interesting at the same time. Our 42nd artist is Swati Goyal from Delhi, India. She has strong instincts. She chooses her colors based on instinct. A lot of her artwork is also made by instinct. When to paint with her hands or a certain texture and where to balance about her compositions and all these techniques is where instinct plays a huge role in this special journey of her. In all of her paintings, she runs a common thread of light, a ray of hope, positivity and purity which runs in the background of her life as well. Here are two of her paintings selected for the exhibition from her Calm and Chaos series. Our 43rd artist is Tadish Pratap Singh from Uttarakhand, India. His artistic practices started as a full-time experimentation with different fine art mediums and exploring new techniques. He is a budding self-taught artist. Here is his painting selected for the exhibition. Hijab is my power. This painting shows a lioness emerging from the hijab of a girl. Roaring lioness indicates the unapologetic and powerful message by a Muslim girl wearing hijab. Background full of colors, flowers shows the innocence of girl also to embrace the beauty of his painting. Our 44th artist is Sukhandeep Kaur from Ludhiana, India. She is a student of Government College for Girls in Ludhiana. Here is her painting selected for the exhibition, Hope. She has shown the black and white face of life in this portrait where color is a significance of hope. It doesn't matter how negative is your life, but a ray of positive thoughts can bring a colorful ambience in front of you. The yellow color is also symbolic representation of enlightenment. Our 45th artist is Ray Pinky from Ranchi, India. She has been a painter ever since she can remember. As a self-taught artist, she believes that the only way to be an art maker, there has been a great sense of inspiration and passion for painting. She has participated in and held many exhibitions. She also won few awards for her work. Paintings based on Hindu mythology find way into her art world. Our 46th artist is Farhan Abu Talib from Karachi, Pakistan. Farhan is a therapeutic artist who uses his creative expressions to promote healing and self-discovery. With a lifelong passion for the arts, he has developed a unique approach to art therapy, which encompasses his artistic endeavors in painting, writing and acting. Here are three of his paintings selected for the exhibition. Chaotic Soul Chaotic Soul is the abstract painting that captures the raw emotions and energy of the human soul. Uncovering the Dreams It is a vintage artwork that has left art historians and enthusiasts alike in awe. The painting, estimated to be around 200 years old, was originally an oceanic scene, but the passage of time has distorted its original beauty, leaving behind a rough and crunchy texture. Mysterious Painting We are used to experiencing stories through movies and books, but he thought, why not tell a story through painting? Our 47th artist is Annie Sood from Shimla, India. Here are three of her beautiful works. Thank you everyone for watching Moments of Art Season 2. We hope you liked our innovative online art exhibition. 
The results for this exhibition and competition shall be announced in the month of June after the exhibition ends on 31st of May. We as curators at Sagar's Art Stream have lots more coming this year. So stay tuned on our social media channels for all the updates. Sagar's Art Stream. Uplifting art and creativity worldwide. When I'm under